Hey, how y'all doing? I'm coming to y'all with a routine that I use to keep my skin kind of looking decent the way it does. It's not perfect, but it's a routine that I use, you know, to keep my skin hydrated and feeling comfortable. First, I'm going to start by taking off my jewelry, earrings, and rings. Also, you want to start with clean hands. You want to wash your hands. Start out with clean hands. Okay, once you have your hands washed, you should dry them and also start to begin with your exfoliating to open up the skin. First, you want to moist it, so I'm going to moist my face. Off camera, I'm still here. You just want to moist it real good so that you can open the pores. And that makes the products easy to go in. Makes the product easy to work. Okay, I'm moistening my face. And I'm going to start with my acne medication apricot scrub. It's an exfoliator. And it scrubs um, your skin. It kind of pulls off the dead skin. And it also helps with acne. Because I've been battling with acne breakouts. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the skin. I apply it and the apricot scrub it's actually good it works really good I like to use my hands sometimes I do have a facial brush but I don't really like to use it because I feel like it doesn't maybe I don't have a good one but I don't feel like it's getting what I need it to get so I've been doing this with the apricot scrub going in there myself with the exfoliating because it does have um, apricot in it. So the apricot pr provides like a scrub. I don't know if the apricot is the scrub, but something in it is providing like a scrub. If you were to make your own, you know, if you use like a sugar base or something, it would be like that, like the sensation of the rub, you would feel it exfoliating. And with my forehead as well, I'm gonna work up here and on my head this is just something that i use before i take a bath um to keep my hair protected because i am all natural in my next video i'm gonna let you guys see a two month leave up with braids that i have left up because i have been going natural with my hair for the past two years and it has been amazing journey an amazing journey I'm not upset about it. I have pictures as well. I'll be uploading eventually to show you guys. Okay, next I want to go in um, with the Age Define Cream. It's um, the Equate brand. I use that because the Equate brand, it's sometimes if I'm not able to get the expensive brand, it's, com it's right next to the brand I'm trying to get. So it's the Olay um, Age Defying Classic um, Age Defying Cream. And I only use the Age Regimen because I, I have used um, tobacco, tobacco products. So when you use tobacco products, it's good to use something to define your skin. You don't want to age when you're still in your 20s. So I add that into the mix as well. Just to keep the wrinkles away and also the aging and again tobacco say no to tobacco and you also kind of want to exfoliate around the lips as well don't leave them out you want to exfoliate as much as you can on your face and honestly i exfoliate between one and two maybe three times a week I'm not going to lie, I exfoliate more than that because I have honestly been experiencing heavy acne and I've been wanting to treat it and I don't want to have scars from it so I make sure I take care of that. Okay, so right now I have the Apricot Acne Cleanse 
exfoliating scrub and I also have the age resisting cleaner going on my face so while that's scrubbing and setting in I'm gonna talk about some products with you guys this soap that I have been using called Yardley um, Yardley um, they have different brands Yardley this is an oatmeal in almond I love this soap also I've been using a lot of the herb the herb seed oil um the hemp not herb hemp seed oil also as well and i've also been using it in the soap that i use so i use the hemp seed oil foaming bath and also the hemp seed yardley um body bar to bathe with and also you guys what else is good you know i use these um dr till's um dr till's the bombing balls i guess um they're they're really good for your skin because they packed a lot of oil and moisture good for your skin and i also use the dr till's epsom salt to relax you ladies might want to start doing that like at least twice a week um when you're working hard and doing things during the week you may want to use that because it does help and i also have the lotion so when you use the dr till's products you should also want to grab you know the other products that goes with them because they work better when they're together um i feel more relaxed when i use them together my skin feels better it actually helps okay i'm gonna go ahead and rinse my face just one moment i'll be right back and guys while you're rinsing you also want to continue to scrub the exfoliator so that you can continue to get you know dead skin and whatever you need to get you want to work it into your pores i just wanted to let you know that because that's something that i do while i'm rinsing the face cream off of my face one moment okay i'm all rinsed up now i'm just gonna pat dry with a clean paper towel just gonna pat dry not completely dry just pat dry just a little okay next guys I'm gonna go in with some witch hazel normally I have the poor perfecting tone of witch hazel Dickerson's but right now they only had in stock at the time was the hydrating toner so I have been using that and it does work so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pot um, cotton pads real quick one moment you guys okay so i have a pad and i just squeeze some witch hazel on it and then i go under my eyes around the face area around my nose and see this is infused with rose water and it smells really good I'm gonna grab another wipe, I mean, cotton pad. <laughs> Laugh all you want, you guys. Okay. Okay, now I've added the witch hazel to tone and I'm gonna let that dry because I'm also gonna go in with a Noxzema anti-blemish pad. What that does, it clears, clears and prevents breakouts. Remember I told you guys I was experiencing breakouts with my face, so I was trying all kinds of products. And I'm gonna go ahead and put something on my lips because during the rinse off, they have kinda gotten dry. <laughs> so yeah. And you guys, you don't want to forget to moisturize after you're done. You want to always moisturize after you're done. Okay, I'm going to go in with this pad, and it's and I'm going to go in the areas where I feel most it's needed. And it's kind of over here where I experience more of the breakout. So I'm going to just rub this pad in, pick up extra dirt. So 
He wants the witch, ha witch, witch hazel is dried in the skin. It's okay to go ahead and wipe. Which I should have just did the witch hazel last. But it's okay, you guys. Everyone makes mistakes. Um, my routine is kind of not perfect, but I do it every day. Um, not every day, but I use the same products when I do use. And sometimes I use Hydro Boost when I want to exfoliate and just add hydration. Because sometimes when I do exfoliate with the medicated exfoliator, um, it doesn't tend to draw all the moisture out of my face, but it doesn't seem to put moisture in the face. But Hydro Boost, it does have some type of gel in it that moisturizes the skin and it has it looking more shinier than this. But right now I needed a apricot scrub because of the area my skin is in. See, my skin right now is kind of... It's at a position where it needs a medicated a, um, medicated exfoliator. And so now I'm just going in with my moisturizer to lotion my face. And I'm not going to miss a spot. Okay, and I'm going to get my eyebrows arched soon. I haven't been able to do much due to the quarantine. Um, nail salons are not open. I'm not able to get a feel. I'm not able to do anything petty nor many. It is just, it's okay though. I'm going to make it through it. But that was my face routine to keep me clear from breakouts and dark spots. Um, I will be changing the routine that I do use, um, but I will be continuing to use the same products because it has worked for me. Um, and if you ever want to, this show, this video was to show people that they can buy face products with value on a budget. So the products that I use again was a apricot cleanser, medicated scrub, an age regimen, Noxzema, blemishing pads, Dickerson's with hazel, and also a moisturizer for my face to lotion. And I actually look good. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This channel is new, and I also do have a contest coming up. So the newer the sub subscribers and the newer the comments, the more I'll get to see. So you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe so that I can get the contest going. Thank you for watching, and have a great night.